Welcome to an introduction on how to use a simple white powder, titanium 4 oxide, and UV light to degrade methylene blue. Everyone meet Mohi. Hi Mohi. He's going to be the student who will help us run our reaction today. Okay, let's get started. Wait a second. Hold on Mohi. Aren't you forgetting something? Aren't you going to need some personal protective equipment? It's much better. Okay, now we can get started. First thing we want to do is measure out some of our white powder, titanium 4 oxide. We don't need much to run this reaction. Typically, all you need is 10 milligrams. That's it, it's not much. Now we're going to take that 10 milligrams and pour it into a 150 milliliter beaker. Beaker simple, nice and clean, all you have is a stir bar on the bottom. Now on top of that, you're going to add 90 milliliters of water. I'm going to add it nice and slow and make sure it doesn't splash up. Once all the water is added, you want to let it stir for about 10 minutes. This is going to let all of those tiny particles mix in evenly with the water. Fantastic! Now we're ready to add the methylene blue. In that pipette is methylene blue. See how rich and dark that color is? All it takes is 10 milliliters to run this reaction. So what you want to do is slowly add that into your stirring beaker with your titanium peroxide and water. Once the mixture is added, what you want to do is take a 3 milliliter sample We'll later use this for analysis, but for right now, once we take the sample, what we're just going to do is set it aside. Our first priority right now is to get this reaction started. Once you're done stirring, what you want to do is to put your beaker with your liquid in it under a UV lamp. Show us the lamp, Mohi. Yes, isn't that a beautiful piece of equipment? As Mohi's showing it off, what he's doing is placing it under the most intense part of the lamp and putting it on top of a stir plate. You want this reaction to be constantly stirring the entire time. Good job, Mohi. Now we're going to go back to that 3 milliliter sample that we took earlier. But before we do anything, we want to make sure that we put a syringe filter on the tip. What that's going to do is it's going to trap any of the fine TiO2 particles from going into our cuvette. The last thing we want is for any solid matter to be in our sample holder. Pushing the liquid through nice and slow helps guarantee that no solids will get through the filter. Once we've filled the cuvette, it needs to go over to the UV Viz, as apparently Mohi is very excited to use. So what he's going to do is open up the cover and put it in the instrument. Don't forget, first thing you want to do before you put it in though, is to wipe all the edges with a Kim wipe. You want to make sure you don't have any fingerprints or any extra liquid on the outside that might screw up our measurement. What this is going to do is allow us to see the absorption spectrum for our sample. We want to see how intense the peak is. As you can see, our maximum peak shows up at a wavelength of approximately 660 nanometers. That's our methylene blue peak. The higher the peak, the more intense the color is. The more intense the color is, the higher the concentration. It's now time to take our sample out of the UV light. Oh, apparently Mohi is excited. Apparently we have good results. Let's take a look at the sample. Look at how that color has changed. Remember, it used to be a very intense blue, and now the sample is almost all white. As we did with our original solution, what we now need to do is to take a 3 milliliter sample of the solution. This sample will then be filtered and again injected into the cuvette.
Do you remember how our original sample was a deep, rich blue? Look at the sample in comparison. Look how clear it is. This shows we have definitely managed to degrade a large portion of the methylene blue that we put into the beaker. So we can quantitatively measure exactly how much methylene blue is left in our solution, we're going to put the cuvette back into the UV vis. Again, remembering to wipe the edges with the Kim wipe. Good job, Mohi. Okay, open up the top once again, put the cuvette in, and close it up. Press start, and we'll get the spectrum. Oh, look at that final result. Good job, Mohi. Yes, we've got fantastic results. We managed for the methylene blue peak to almost completely disappear. Congratulations on a job well done. You must feel great about your results. Fantastic, isn't it? All right, now it's time for you to go home and write your lab. Oh, come on. It won't be that bad.